Hi, it's Dr. Sahar Rokhead, and I am going to give you a little masterclass on my favorite hormone, progesterone. So you might go, How, why do you have a favorite hormone? That's weird. But hey, this is what I do for a living, right? You're going to have your favorites now and again. But I'll tell you why I like progesterone. So first of all, quick biology lesson, very quick and easy, not too stressful to digest. Progesterone is the hormone that when you're having a menstrual cycle, you make it in the second half of the cycle after ovulation and it thickens the lining of the womb so that a fertilized egg can implant. Um, when you are not pregnant, you, your progesterone then drops and you get a period. Now, if the progesterone drops too rapidly, you can get premenstrual syndrome. So that could be anything from irritability, crying, feeling more emotional, getting bloated, acne, basically unpleasant. But if you can balance your progesterone, you can reduce your PMS symptoms. So that's why I really like progesterone because I think it can make a huge difference to your life. In menopause, low progesterone and also premenstrually can affect your mood, your sleep, as in you get insomnia, it can cause fluid retention, bloating, and your skin and hair not being as nice. So progesterone is a girl's best friend because when it's good, you're in a great mood, you're well rested, you've slept well, your hair and skin looks amazing, you've got no fluid retention and you're not bloated. So that's why I love progesterone. So what can you do if you're having a period and you think your progesterone's getting low because you're getting premenstrual syndrome. Some women, they have it for two weeks of a month. That is not acceptable. You do not want to feel rubbish for two weeks of a month. So there are things you can do with supplements, such as taking Agnes Castus in the second half of your cycle, which helps to balance your hormone balance. Um, or you can also take progesterone if you come and see someone like me and I can balance it for you in that way just before your, your period. Um, but there are also certain foods you can eat. So having more um, good carbohydrates like sweet potatoes, rice, um, that can help to help boost your progesterone production naturally in the second half of the cycle. Now, it's very important to know that this progesterone I'm on about that your body makes, that my body makes, um, is not the same as synthetic progestin, which is in the progesterone only pill misleading name because it's actually synthetic progestin only pill um, because people often come to me and say oh I don't know if I want to take this progesterone because I took the progesterone only pill I felt awful really bloated I put on loads of weight and my skin was awful and I'm like no 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 completely different progesterone if you had the two of them side by side they have different molecular structures so you want to take the sort of progesterone I'm talking about which is micronized progesterone, also known as Eutrogestan, which is a brand name, or a customized body identical or bioidentical progest uh, progesterone that I could prescribe, um, because this is gonna have a lot more benefit on your symptoms. The other stuff kind of like protects the womb, stops you getting pregnant, doesn't really do anything for your symptom control. And the same if you're in menopause, if you're taking Eutrogestan, a body identical progesterone or micronized progesterone, that is going to help with these sort of symptoms. But the synthetic stuff, it's only going to protect your womb, which is important, but you will also want the symptom benefit too, right? Why, why only have one thing if you can have both? So I hope that's cleared some stuff up around progesterone and explained why it's my favorite hormone. And I will speak to you soon.